Good day, tech readers. Today we'll be discussing Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4 smartphone, which is the successor to the Note 3, which was one of our favorite phones from last year and has been on our top five list for longer than six months. This is a phone for gamers. It's also a phone for everybody else, but why does it work for gamers? The screen specifically is incredibly sharp and bright, we find, especially for a phone priced in the mid-range. We'll get to the price at the end. Um, it has a big battery that's 4,100 milliamp hours, very big for a mid-sized phone. And um, we find that it's, it's textured in such a way that it doesn't slip too easily through the fingers as so many modern smartphones do. You can actually get a grip on this one. We also like the metal frame and the metal backplate, a lot less sensitive than your typical glass backplate that breaks the first time you drop it. So we think it's a phone for gamers, a 5.5 inch screen, a real Snapdragon processor, that's from one of the top manufacturers, and three gigabytes of RAM, which is what really matters to make your phone fly and 32 gigabytes of storage. That's pretty generous at the price since most phones in this bracket are normally about 16 gigabytes. It has a removable storage as you'd expect, a 13 megapixel rear camera and a five megapixel camera on the front. It also has a fingerprint sensor, also unusual for a phone in the mid-range. So we think it's a gamer's phone because the screen is large, very bright and sharp, and it's got a really large battery, so it keeps going for a really long time. And it's easy to hang on to when you're playing. It's also the phone for everybody else because the price, 3,600 Rand, very hard to argue with that price for a phone of this quality. Xiaomi phones are not readily available everywhere, but wherever you can find them, you should consider buying one, like uh, the Redmi Note 4, one of our new favorite phones.